I've been going to this event since 97 and I love riding single fins and I reckon this, uh, this event's pretty much uh, bring a big stoke about single fins. Everyone wants them, everyone's looking for them in garage sales and uh, they're loving getting out and riding them and it's good when we have a comp and get some waves and get out there on boards that were made before we were born. Get a few waves, it's good for the boys. You know, I've had people ask me in interviews and that, you know, do you think you own Burley, you know, all this rubbish about, you know, localism and all that stuff. And I just sort of say to them, well, I don't own it, but I'm part of it. Basically, the reason the single fin comp's unique is everybody has to ride single fins. There's not many of them run in Australia and maybe that's probably the uniqueness of it is it's a fun contest. You know, cheering each other into waves, yelling out. The contest is a community thing, it's for the community. The money raised is for the young guys so they can go and surfing contests and do a bit of travelling and you know, advance their surfing careers. Kids surfing in the comp, it gives them a bit of respect for the guys that rode that equipment, you know, they look back at Rabbit and all them. I've actually watched old movies with the young guys and they go, oh, you know, he's surfing like a kook and he's not doing much. But now after surfing those boards, if they look back at those movies and see what Rabbit and all those guys in the old days did, then they can appreciate what it takes to do what they were doing. Yeah, on a thrust you can kind of just jump around and they work still, but on a single fin you kind of jump around and you fall off, so... But it takes a while to get used to them again, you know what I mean? I've had a few heats now and I think i found the right board, so you never know. Surfing is a sport that actually teaches the young guys a lot about respect, you know, because it teaches them about the elder surfers and the people that have come before them. So they see all the older guys surfing the single fins that they've never seen at Burley before, you know. A lot of the young guys don't know the old guys, you know, and they come to the contest and they get to meet them and, you know, it's sort of like you get to meet the tribe, the surfing tribe, you know, the elders and all the young kids and that. And Burley is like a, like I said, it's a big family, you know, you've got the elders and if the elders are surfing out there, like there's guys that, I give a lot of respect to if they're out there surfing, I give them waves and I expect that to go right down through to the young guys and that and having the single fin comp shows them where surfing come from. Is there something different to riding your standard shortboard every day? Yeah, it's good fun with everyone else. Everyone else is on them and yeah, it's always a good weekend. Basically my vision of Burley Heads, what's special to me is, is the headland. To me it's a, it's a spiritual connection to the place, you know, because I've been there so long and you know, when you're out in the water you can feel the guys that have passed away, you know, most of the guys that have 
passed away and that are remembered at our surfing contest, their ashes are sprinkled out of Burley. So you can feel that, you know, that spiritual thing out in the water, you know, you go out there and you can actually feel the boy's spirit, you know, when it's bigger or, you know, when the waves are good, they're sort of going, no, go for it, go for it. Now, to me, it's more of being part of Burley, not actually thinking that you own the place, because no one really owns a surf, you know. We're all surfers and it's just that spiritual thing, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful place.